Hello everyone and welcome to a series that I've wanted to start for a long time. Today, we're playing Harvest Moon 64. Now, I've played a lot of the Harvest Moon games, I've made a top 5, but I haven't played one of the games that many people consider the best. So my goal now is to remedy that problem and actually play it. So, I'm really super excited to play this game because I haven't, and it's gonna be... It's gonna be awesome, just to even just say that I have, considering just my history of Harvest Moon, that I'm just gonna be happy to play this game, and it's gonna be fun. So, now I'm gonna enter my birthday, and my birthday is in December, so I'm gonna pick winter, and it says that your birthday is always on the 25th. Sorry for not reading that out loud. Are the name and birthdays okay? And I would say they are quite okay. I'm quite happy with those. Enter, the, enter your ranch's name. I'm gonna name my farm the Soul Farm because, you know, like, you're harvesting souls. That's kind of what I used to do as a kid. Before that, I was really generic, and I just named my farm Family Farm. And <laughs> it's kind of just, I couldn't think of anything, so that's what I picked. Um, we're gonna name my dog. My dog's name's gonna be an Easter egg here. It's gonna be Dexel. Some of you will know what that means, some of you won't. I'm gonna explain it right now, so I don't know why I even said that, but Dexel is a character that I made up. I used to name my dog Max. So in my Friends of Mineral Town, my dog's name is Max. Or maybe it was Scruffy, because that was my old dog's name. I never had a dog named Max for real. Now I'm really excited to get playing this game and run around and have a good old time. And I know it's a lot like um, Back to Nature from what I've seen, because I mean I've seen the game before, I just haven't played it. Nice to meet you. I'm the mayor. I'm sure you have lots of questions. Shall I show you around the village? Um, let's go. I think we might as well take the tour. Might be a good idea to know what's going on around here. If you take this path, you head towards Moon Mountain in the vineyard. Okay, that's a horrible voice for him, by the way. But he, he reminds me of like a carny, Mayor Thomas. This way leads to the Green Ranch. They'll teach you how to raise animals. Oh, and they are looking for someone to take their horse. So you should probably drop by and, you know, before the end of spring and do that. Um, I did skip the beginning cutscene. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. That's a florist. They sell vegetable, grass seeds, and they can tell you what to do. Hello, visit florist Lilia for flowers and vegetables. I should probably give her a better voice. I will do that in the future. The same with everyone else, like Mayor Thomas and all them people. The church. The children study there. I wish that they would sell this game on, like, um, like, remaster this game. I'd, I'd love to play it. That's a bar. It's open in the evening. You go up there to get to the village square. Did you mean to rhyme that, Mr. Mayor? It's where we hold our fair. I mean, festivals. The mayor, the mayor is just being a little troll there. All right, so what do we got over here? Oh, it's Rick. He used to be my arch nemesis. That's the tool. Rick. Rick the tool. That's not nice. And craft shop. You can buy farm tools and sundry goods there. Hello. Goodbye, Rick. I don't want to talk to you at all. Hey, it's Ellie. She's not a nurse in this game. Because in Back to Nature, she was a nurse. And now she is a bakery baker. That's the bakery. It has a good reputation. On Yelp. Hello, please drop by for a bite. Goodbye, Ellie. You'll get your PhD in the future. Or your not PhD. That's the potion shop. You can get love potions and death potions. I mean, I mean, no. I mean, just get medicine for when you feel sick. But rest is the best thing. So there's a potion shop in this game, that's interesting. I like how there's a bunch of kids just talking in a corner there. I'm really liking this game so far, by the way. I'm liking how it looks and feels. And one of the things I love about Harvest Moon is the way the game feels. You can read books in the library. Make good use of it. Welcome to Flower Bud Village. Well, Mary didn't talk to me. Well, I think I've showed you all the main places. Take care and good luck. So, so far, I'm really, I'm really liking how this game's looking. It reminds me of a lot of Back to Nature, and that is my favorite Harvest Moon game, along with Friends of Merrill Town, so that's good. Hey, you're the old man's grandson, right? Nice to meet ya. I'm a buyer. 
Your grandpa and I knew each other for a long time. Let me tell you how to ship goods. Put the vegetables you grow in stuff you get in the mountain in this shipping crate. I pick them up in the evening and pay you cash. So you don't have to pay taxes. There's a toolbox in your house and a notebook explaining how to use them. Some TV programs are also very instructive. Find things that you can do and get used to the work slowly. Well, goodbye and good luck. I lost the voice there at the end. I did last time I tried this too. Last time I voiced him. Okay, um, so now we're free to do what we want. So I think a good idea is probably just to start clearing out the field. So this is actually a very familiar feeling. Um, so we got the menu here. I noticed that the clock isn't on the main screen. So you can't tell what time it is at all times. Like the HUD is, the HUD is a little bit um, very simplistic. As in, there is absolutely no HUD. But I am, I am like, I am like so pumped to be playing this game. I'll be able to like, give you guys long, long, boring history lessons about my life and how I play Harvest Moon. And I can just talk about. I want to try to talk about the game and like Harvest Moon in general for the most part. Um, everything seems pretty good so far. I mean, I'm already feeling right at home. Um, I wonder if we can break stumps with, like, the regular axe. Let's try. Two, three. Okay, so it has, like, the same stamina system as Back to Nature, too. So that's pretty cool. Let's break this down. Cool, you can break it. Okay, so that's good. So I don't have to upgrade my tool. At least not for basics. Um, it's going to be cool if we can get some plants soon. I wonder if we can do that on day one. Because what day of the week is it? Um, I don't even know when the stores would close. I'm already trying to plan way too far ahead. But we gotta get rid of, like... Let's get those out of here. I don't know if there's, like, a penalty for it. I don't want to plant there. Because of the big rock. Unless I can break it. I might be able to break the big rock. That is something I'm not entirely sure about. Um, oh, crud. So we're gonna make a nice little 3x3 three three square here. It looks like I'm already getting kind of tired, but I want to be efficient. Can I jump over things? Because I know I'm back to nature if you're running. Oh no, I'm on top of the rock. I'm back to nature, you can... Oh, wow. I don't think you can jump over... I think you're like always running, and I think in back to nature you walked. You walked like this, and then you ran with a button. So I think that this is going to be a little bit different. Um... But overall, this is gonna be great. Hey, hey, it's Jeff. I don't have anything. I don't have anything to sell. No. Uh, what? Nothing today. All right. See you later. That was a horrible voice impression. I gotta practice. I am out of practice. Wait. If he's here, it's probably 5 p.m. Okay, so it's getting pretty late. Or is that nine? I can't really tell by that clock. But it looks like it's getting kind of late, so it's time to go home. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about a couple more things. Um, I'm probably not going to run around too much in the dark in this game, just so you know. Let's save the game. If I can figure out the buttons. Oh, you can't click on the bed. Okay, so there's a diary. Let's write in the diary and go to sleep. Um, I skipped the beginning cutscene because it wasn't going to make for a good introduction to the game. I mean, even though it is an introduction. Um, it's just a bunch of people mourning, and I wanted to be able to talk about the game a little bit. And like my plans and it was like a slow cutscene so it, it's just mostly people mourning about the grandfather dying in your farm you taking the farm so you can change the channels in the TV there was nothing on educational program today I gave some advice about vegetables do you spend all day watering because you sowed too many seeds when in season it's when the season is over vegetables die so plan your plantings and it takes time to create the crops up Crate, crate the crops up. All right, whatever. That's enough TV for the day. Let's go outside and start our adventure. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna walk around. Um, I don't know if I can break the rocks, but what I want to do is how much money do I have? I have 300 gold. I can't imagine that get me too much um, supplies. So I'm gonna take out the hammer. Um. But so far, man, this is, um... Let's see. Eh? Okay. I didn't want to hit the dog with the hammer. 
could have sworn I just saw little Dexel around here somewhere. Uh, little Dexel, there you are. He doesn't get hearts when I pick him up and put him down, so I don't know if that actually works or not in this game. We'll have to find out eventually, right? I don't really see anywhere to see, like, stats, and that's the definite difference between this game and, um, Back to Nature. So they look very similar. Except you can't rotate the camera in that game, but you can in this game, and that's very, very strange. Because everything you can t I can tell, from what I can tell, everything in the game is sprites. Except for the building is definitely 3D. Um, I don't know what my ideal way to play would be. This looks very interesting. Looks like this would be the easiest way to farm. In the non-isometric way. Um, what time is it? Alright, it's getting pretty late in the day, so I think it'd be a good idea for us to go to the store. And take a look. I'm probably gonna put the camera back like this. Because that's... You can't actually rotate the camera anywhere you want. Only on your farm, which is probably so you can easily, like, get, see what you want to see. Alright, this is the Lilia store. I guess Jeff and Karen are in charge in this game. Um, fun fact, I married Karen as a kid. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to this time. What do we got here? Those are cabbage seeds. They take longer, but you sell them for much more money. One pack costs 200G, is that okay? Well... You broke my bank, lady. I'm out of here. So, we have something to plant at least. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these and water these. And then we're going to go and run around and look for other stuff to sell. To try to get our money up. Because this is going to take a while to grow. I probably should have done, should have done something simple like turnips. So that I could harvest them quickly. Um, so, it remembers where I put the stuff. Now, I, I know from Harvest Moon fashion of the old games at least. The newer games aren't doing this as much. That you... You stand in the middle, and that's how you plant your seeds. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's water these puppies. Um, there's no water in here. So, is this a well? Do I have a well? I haven't seen a well yet. Um, let's look around a little bit. There's gotta be a well somewhere. I need to find a well. Or some source of water. Um, I'm sorry I keep comparing this to, um, Back to Nature, but it's mostly because that's the one that I played forever, and I'm kind of, like, feeling like they're in the same boat. Although this seems to be missing a well. I have no idea how to fill my watering can. Um, I might go look at the instructions here. I don't, I don't really see anything about that. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to have a, a tool note... Basic tools. There we go. Tool for giving water to plants. You need to go get water to use this tool. Okay, so it looks like um, I have to go find the water. Like, it isn't just on my farm. I'm hoping I can get like some kind of upgrade later, maybe, so that I can... I'm going to put it like this so everything's consistent. Um, I guess I have to go somewhere to find water. At least the loading times aren't bad at all. I'm gonna head south. There's gotta be some water somewhere. This looks very familiar. Um, water? Let's go down here. I mean, there's gotta be, like, there's the ocean. I can get water from the ocean. Is that how that works? Water from the ocean. I was hoping that would, I was hoping that that would be a, um, a genius plan. But it seems to not be the case. Does somebody else own... Does somebody else own a well? Um, I will, I will look at your farms, and I will look. With all of my might to find a well. I probably should have talked to these people. Because, um... Why are the trees popping in like that? That's weird. Um... Maybe they had a horse for me? That would have made my life easier. For, like, running around and whatnot. Gallivanting around the town. Um, we're gonna head this way. I need to keep looking for a well or something. Okay, so I can't... There's nothing here for me. There's nothing that I can use. Um, I'd hate to have to, like, look this up. I kind of want to figure it out. So we're gonna keep looking until I find a well. I can't imagine that they'd make you go, like, really far away all the time to get water. That doesn't seem right. I must be missing something really obvious. 
something really embarrassingly obvious. I wonder if there's like a sink or something that I could use. Why would I even have to leave my farm? Is there a sink in my house, maybe? I literally cannot find... I can't find much. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go back to the beach, maybe. And I'm going to look there one last time, just for safekeeping, for safe record keeping. Um, take a nice little, take a nice little gander. I don't really see anything that would potentially help me here. So I guess we're going to have to go back to sleep and, um, that's going to be the mystery of the episode is like, where am I going to find a watering can? I mean, a way to refill my watering can. I mean, I feel like I shouldn't have to leave my farm to refill my water, but what do I know? Let's go back in the house, and I guess we're going to save up the game, and that's going to be it for the day. I don't have a sink in my house either. Holy moly, I might have made a horrible mistake. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the first episode of Harvest Moon 64. I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching.